Uh, hello hello guys uh, welcome back to our youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe share comment down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that next time when i upload you get notified the question is uh, are you in love with what you see in the sky are you passionate uh, about studying physics you know the physics part uh if you are doing physical science in high school probably you are enjoying the physical physics physics part not the chemistry part um i have this gentleman next to me can you introduce yourself okay guys also i want to show you we are we are at the planetarium uh, at vets university this is the planetarium uh, sometimes you must come and visit and see uh, the planets inside here and stuff there are planets right uh, the, the the models well yeah the models the oh, models the, of, the planets. Mod of planets yes. Yeah. yes if you have been uh, to planetarium before yeah this is the planetarium so here i have uh, can you introduce yourself my guy uh well uh, thank you for having me yes. again on on your show uh, my name is falati andrew homu and i'm doing my final year in physics and astrophysics astronomy yeah okay andrew andrew homu Oh, oh yeah <laughs> uh, where are you from originally? free state oh, i'm from, from the free state yeah oh you're from the free state what was the name of your high school my name uh, yeah, no name of your high school yes omampoi high school um uh, in kwa kwa oh. that's the eastern free state okay yeah oh wow right wow, wow, that's, that's great yeah. so you're doing uh astronomy and astrophysics yeah, at right. Vets University. Okay, so why astronomy and astrophysics? Well, uh, I think I, I actually do consider myself as one of the very, I don't want to say lucky, but you know, uh, privileged to study uh, uh, my dream career. Because I look in my background, I look on how I grew up. I was actually quite keen on the universe. I loved the stars. And you ask a lot of people on why they went to astronomy. They'd be like, you know, they had questions about the universe. But for me, I think, I don't want to say that, but it's, it's, it's quite different. Because for me, it was more of the beauty of the universe. You know, I, I was watching the moon in the sky. I remember I had friends and my friend had like an iPhone at that time. He downloaded this beautiful app of which we could track the night sky and we'd watch it, you know, um, throughout the day. So uh, for me, I was just impressed by the beauty of the universe. We watched the lunar eclipses, and it was just so beautiful. I just had a had a bond with with the beauty of the universe, and so I was like, well, when I get to grade nine, well, let me try the physics of it. You know, looking at the beauty of the sunset, of the moon, it is beautiful, but but how about i get to know this other side of it which is the, the physical side of the science part of it and yeah off you go oh wow so yeah then in grade 10 you are you, you chose the physical science stream yes okay so you did which subject uh uh well it's mathematics and physical sciences those are what really matters and of course you you need to have your English and, and, and stuff like that. But for you to get into uh, this field, you need maths and physical science. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Those are the prerequisites, guys. Mathematics and physical sciences. So, yeah. Why uh, why astro astrophysics? So, yeah. What, why astronomy and astrophysics? Yes, I have asked this question more, but do you want to elaborate more, maybe on the physics part, or what fascinates you about physics? Uh, well, uh, science is a beautiful thing, and uh, it's 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 so weird because I, I get to find that when I'm now in this uh, fraternity or in the field of science, because a lot of the times when we see what astronomers do or what astrophysicists do on the papers or on the textbooks you'd normally see them looking at you know through a telescope and you actually think this is what they do on their daily life you know but it's it's actually it's 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 beyond that there's part of that but a lot of the time it's just solving mathematics it's just you know hard complex physics i just solving you know what you don't even know and so i think 
that that's actually what i found to be an interesting thing when i was inside of it of course when i was outside of it i just wanted to look at stars through telescopes because i didn't know what was happening yeah you know? and my follow-up question is yeah what is uh, astronomy and astrophysics all about yeah. yes maybe maybe someone is asking there at home né? they are watching us currently and they are wondering eh, what is astroph uh, astronomy or astrophysics entails what is it all about yes um well astrophysics is, is part of physics it's a branch of physics and it, it's the study of uh the natural or the physical universe in such a way that we study the celestial objects and what are celestial objects these are planets these are your stars these are your nebulies you know your comets your asteroids so we study their physics and by that we mean the motion their chemical composition temperatures and stuff like that so it's just the study of the universe yes. oh, wow. that's what we do yes then astrophysics well that's astrophysics oh. so they they very 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 related but astrophysics is more of of the physics the physics part of 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 it and you have your astronomers who then deal with things like your coordinates and stuff like that but but they're very highly related it's not much difference between them it's just that astrophysics is more like the the, the real physics of it oh. well, it's not like there's a fake physics but it's it's more physics there yes okay. than you have in astronomy so yeah yeah i heard that you it's about like anything that includes the stars and the planet also the physics the real part the real physics the deep physics you know and, and, you and dig into the eh? you also have what we call cosmology so when you get in it, it they, they they different you have astronomy astrophysics and cosmology okay. and you, you you do it when you are in in the course cosmology is just the study of all the beginning uh, the evolution and eventually hopefully the fate well, of the universe so, okay yeah. that's great that's great uh, so my question now is what are the requirements of doing astronom astro astronomy and astrophysics here at Beth and which university uh, offers uh, uh, this uh, this course uh, well uh, the requirements you, you, you need to do maths and physics right well I, I suppose it's physical sciences in high school you, you'd have to have them and you'd have to pass really well of course those are just some parts that are you know compulsory for you to have you, you obviously need uh, English and other subjects and and you need to pass uh, you need to get a very good grade on those subjects um level seven you better uh hope for that right uh or six i i don't think they take you with level five you should take your prospectus at fits if, if you want to get into astronomy six seven physical sciences and meds and the universities that offer astrophysics you'd have your uct university of the cape town fits university um northwest university and that's actually very very well in, in astronomy and astrophysics you have your ukzn the university of kwazulu natal which is also one of the best universities in the african continent you know in terms of astronomy you then have rhodes university and you have uh your university of of the free state and i think western cape the university of western cape also has uh, parts of astrophysics there and there yeah okay so guys yeah if you are really really interested in doing this astrophysics or astronomy uh it's not here at vets where they where you get admission in other institutions they do offer uh, the course you have to just go on your website check the requirements there visit their website and apply as early as possible so that you can uh, spare your place in the program but it's not like applying early but you must work hard so that you get marks and uh, that will allow you to get an admission uh, to the program and uh, uh, my brother so how how is how was your first year experience as a astrophysics student which challenges did you come across uh, uh yeah as a as an astrophysics and astronomy uh, astronomy student uh well uh my first year it was it was it was challenging i think that's what happens with a lot of first year students well i should say that when i first came to to to, to job i got marked the same day so that that messed up everything you know they took everything of mine and i was home alone so i felt homesick i was like i want to go home and that was the first challenge um with with 
I think moving to a very foreign place, you know, um, I was unfamiliar with a lot of places and so that is a challenge. But in terms of academics, um, uh, you know, it is astrophysics, it is a very intellectually demanding course. So you'd have to study very hard because you can think a lot of the things that we study, they are out of reach, right? Study, you, you can't go there. We study them uh, 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 through meds, through science, through telescopes. So it is very uh, intellectually demanding in that way. You, of course, have to study very hard. And it, it includes some basic life skills, such as your time management. I struggled a lot with time management because um, it's not that the course would, would be that hard. Yes, it is challenging, but... but it, it's also about on what are your priorities because if everything comes important then nothing becomes important so you also have to work on your time management how do you do your stuff like that so time management um should be at the top you should know how to work out your, your stuff and i just remember a phrase that says mm. uh, procrastination makes easy things hard and hard things more harder right. yes <laughs> so okay yeah you studied and you managed now you are in your final year Yes. Which module did, did they challenge you in, in your first year, second year? Yeah, I remember, uh, well, second year, cosmology. Yeah, that, that was very challenging. Very, very, very challenging. Uh, uh, because you'd, you'd actually see that when you are now in the course, it doesn't get easy. It actually gets much difficult, right? Uh, you start with a much broad view of physics. And when you go to second year, they narrow it down. When you go to third year, they narrow it down and, you know, honors and stuff like that. So, so cosmology for me, it was in second year. It was very challenging. Okay. Right. Cosmology. But you managed, ne? Oh, I managed. Yeah. Okay. How? By studying. By studying? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, I know it sounds it sounds simple, but 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 yeah, you, you study. Yeah. Yeah. I think study, study. Study. <laughs> study, study, and study, yeah. and study this again, and study again. again. Yeah. Yes. So, okay. Yeah. At least they, they know some more information about uh, astronomy and astrophysics now the person okay the main aim yeah is to get employed you get right. it at the end you want to be employed so what options do i have if i have uh, completed this degree whether it's honors whether it's masters which options do i have and you are in final year now you get it so surely you have more info where is your um where you you can work after the, the after you graduate yeah yeah um and i think that's very important because you see this undergraduate degree bsc astrophysics and astronomy it's not a professional degree right so it's not like uh med medicine where you, when you're done with your degree you are now called a doctor or a accounting science now called a, a chartered accountant or you know a law degree called a lawyer afterwards it's not like that. So it's not like when you finished your undergraduate, now called an astronomer in astrophysics. I mean, astrophysicist. Uh, you'd at least have to have, I think, masters to get to that level, right? And obviously, looking uh, to go into research, you'd need that. But some opportunities with just an undergraduate degree. Hopefully, you might want to have honors or add honors. It's nice because you're not only doing it as in astrophysics in and of itself. You include meds. You include, you know computer science so there's coding there so you can go into data analysis or data science so that gives you some sort of a branch into into the finance industry i think if you don't want to go into academia or the research field you can go into data science you can yeah yeah so uh, wow. even also those technical career paths you can wow okay uh, yeah uh, that's quite uh, yeah, we just want to hear who is there uh, uh, job opportunities okay they are yeah they, they are, are. They okay. are. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, uh, th uh, thank you so much uh, for giving us this uh, information. Like, what is then an advice that you can provide to someone who uh, who's willing to study astrophysics? Probably the person is good in physical science, or the person is fascinated with the universe, the stars, and everything. You know, and they once heard the phrase astronomer and stuff. Like, what can you say to them? You know. Um, is a grade 12 learner watching us currently or a, a university student you know who are like no man i'm in a, a wrong degree now i need to go for astrophysics for astrophysics i need to go for astronomy so what can you say to them well i mean if you are someone that's looking into getting into 
astronomy and astrophysics um that's you know that's great <clears throat> sorry i think you should go for it uh but what keeps me going because it does get difficult right it, it does get difficult but what keeps me going is the the looking forward of learning something new right even when i go into my studies it gets very difficult because there's a lot of work but but what keeps me going is okay after this i'm actually going to be having some new knowledge about something right so even for somebody if it, it's getting difficult along the way have that that okay after this i'm actually going to be at uh, a, a much better position than i was before in terms of of knowledge it is a very wonderful career so if you want to go to it uh, be curious and always look up you know yeah I'd, I'd really recommend it to anyone yeah guys yeah and i'm also interested as i'm listening you know i get more interested in this astronomy and astrophysics yeah. part my brother thank you so much thank, thank you. you so much for your time and so uh, let's hope uh there at home if you are doing grade 12 uh, you are in university you want to go and study astronomy or astrophysics you you can do that uh, let's hope all the best for your future uh, we're looking forward to see you graduating and doing those um, uh, masters honors and stuff so I, I heard that you mentioned about yeah. a professional degree and there's a professional degree and there's also an academic degree you can be you can become a lecturer right right yes, yes you can yes, become a lecturer yeah, yeah. if you love teaching and you don't want to go maybe you are passionate about teaching oh, but you had good uh, yeah you can be a high school teacher too if you want right, to right, go I'm present? yes <laughs> <laughs> right there. yeah so yeah there are a lot of uh, job opportunities that are available from me to you guys don't forget to subscribe like share comment down below if there is something that you need clarity on it I repeat, apply to different universities. I know we are at first, you might want to come to first to experience it, but at the end, we don't want you to do something that you don't like just because you did not get admission here. Because sometimes an admission can be tough, the spaces are limited. So applying to different institutions will give you more chances to be accepted to the program. At the end, you will become an astrophysicist and an astronomer, if that's what you want. All the best to you all the best to you thank you so thank much you. bye